Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Class of Heroes 2G Remaster Edition. Last time we did a whole bunch of questing, and uh, we have finally arrived at Granita Snowfield, which is the first map of which I have no memory. I've had surprisingly accurate memories of all the other places that we have visited so far, considering it's been 14 years or whatever since I played this game. Snowfield? Don't remember it. It's just blanked out in my mind for some reason. But the last thing we did was fight Valone and Pasta and beat the crap out of them. Uh, after which Pasta threw a very embarrassing temper tantrum, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, I, I had honestly started to get the impression that they were a little bit more, like, actually evil. But after that encounter, my impression is more that they're just a comically incompetent and perhaps even adorably mischievous rival team. And I'm sure we're going to be encountering them again. At some point in the future. To be clear, I don't actually remember that, but it, it seems clearly the case that uh, they've been recurring characters up until now. Surely we'll encounter them again. Alright, Sherry gained a level, gained vitality, and a ton of hit points. Good level. We're saving it. The only character who's gotten a bad level recently was Seraphi. She got a basically terrible level where she lost all kinds of important stats and got a poor hit point roll, but levels like that happen. It evens out over time, so it's nothing to get worked up about. It doesn't feel good when it happens, so... Jeez, you guys are kind of tough. Thank you. Level for Grom. Okay, he gained faith and a decent hit point roll, so... I'll take it. I'll save that. I think the only outstanding quest we have at this point is trying to find a magic rapier somewhere here in the snowfields. But uh, if we can get to the glacial labyrinth from here... Okay, these guys we learned are strong. So we're going to take them seriously. The uh, lizard knights are nothing to mess with. They're no joke. Hmm. Go ahead and focus. Put up the magic barrier. Ooh, evil beast can throw uh, dark magic at us. Let's try and hit Sherry. Okay, wow, those are ridiculous looking. Utterly ridiculous looking. Uh, throw a fire blaze at the lizard knights back there, I guess. Okay, this is going well. All right, we got this. Stigmata. We're getting tons of gold and experience here, too. Finally, uh, exploring and grinding in a place that's appropriately leveled for us. We've been... Ooh, that's quite the group. That is quite the group. I guess hit the Majin Fu with Gleam. We've been definitely falling behind in money because we've been spending a lot of it. Turned out to not need to Majin Fu, the, or uh, to Gleam the Majin Fu. We've been spending a lot of it buying a lot of Wyvern tickets and stuff everywhere we found them. And uh, since we've basically explored everywhere up until the uh, glacier, we just kind of been teleporting around and not getting into many fights. I'm a really overleveled for a lot of locations at this point anyway. So we were really running low on, uh, on money, but we're getting it back now, so that's good. They seem pretty resistant to the one-hit kill effect of the 
Um, the Oni Slicer, it's not proccing at all. Finally. Yeah, I'm not sure why I don't remember the, uh, the glacier area. It's a well done map and there's nothing about it that's less memorable than the other places we've been, so... Yeah, it's a little mysterious to me why, uh, why this is a place that I don't remember after I remembered the other places so well, but I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Man, these things look ridiculous. Alright. Those guys didn't actually drop any money. Not everything has money. I think the killer bees do, though, don't they? No, they don't. Never mind. I was wrong. I mean, in this game, just because something doesn't make sense is no reason to assume that it's not the case. So it was would have been entirely possible for the uh, killer bees to have money. Seems like it's the uh, lizard soldiers that really have a ton of money. Very basic sliding puzzle. Ooh, a Berserker Axe. That's actually finished equipment from the sound of it. Is it any good? Well, it's medium range. It only hits once for 50 to 90, so that's not very good. Apparently it's anti-fairy or whatever that is, an anti-spirit. Definitely a downgrade compared to the Morning Star. And the Scythe. And I bet nobody else can use it. Okay, we'll just sell it then. Although it can be exciting to get finished equipment. It's not always good, the equipment. And then the excitement dissipates. There we go. Okay. Whee! Alright, so let's figure out how to get to that chest. We need to slide at it from either here or here, which means we need to get over here, which probably means we need to approach from this side. Also, the autopilot cannot handle the sliding floors I see. Interesting. They were able to code it to handle the move tiles, but not the sliding floors. Oh, okay. Can't approach it from that direction. Maybe, well, probably not here, because you just run into that and then end up like this. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, sorry. I was derping. The answer is actually quite obvious. Quite obvious indeed. All we have to do is this and then like this. Simple. Mortal Strike, just unlock it for a Sanchery. Rapier minus two, but it's not a magic rapier, so it's probably not the thing we need. Is it any good? Probably not. It's No, it's a really low-level weapon. Yeah, it's terrible. We'll just sell it. Uh, what am I missing? I don't yet have the Star of 100%edness. Uh, let's check the borders. Oh, right, just, okay. A couple areas here, and then this down here. Okay, took care of that. Maybe it's not that they couldn't uh, code 
code the autopilot to handle the sliding tiles, but that they didn't want to because uh, there's puzzles around it, and they didn't want you to just solve the puzzle with the autopilot, which makes sense. Although you could say the same for the move tiles, and they were okay with having the autopilot handle those, so that's interesting. So, who knows? Okay, now do we have the star? We don't. What am I missing now? Checking the borders, seeing if there's anything obvious that I missed. Aha! Good lord, right up there at the beginning. Ugh. Oh, tell the position teleport change because she learned a new spell. I guess that confirms the new spell she learned was in the support magic category. So it was the Nullio then. Of course, she could have learned multiple new spells when she leveled as well. Okay. Now we have the star of 100%edness. And teleport us back, please. Ooh, it's snowing now. That's neat. And the clouds seem thicker. I never checked to see how many maps there are here. Freezing wind, closed off world. Oh, there's only two. Okay, this place is tiny. I assume this goes to the uh, glacial labyrinth at the end of it. I'd be quite surprised if it doesn't. Magma snail. Why is there a magma snail in the snow? Well, I guess there's no reason there couldn't be. You can have volcanoes in the snow. So fair enough. Maybe in a uh, in a surprise twist, the glacial labyrinth is actually a fire dungeon. That would be kind of neat. You know, I almost wonder if I should have them focus when we're fighting a pair of Majin Fu. Majin Fu are pretty durable. Sentry tree wood. I think that's a pretty decent crafting item. Ingredient. Oh, I see a quest. That must be the magic rapier. Let's grab it. It's just lying there. Okay. Unexpected. I thought that there would be a little bit more of an event. Rather than just, you found the rapier. Here you go, enjoy. Not a very good weapon. 32 to 46 times 2, range short. Oh, I mean, it has a bunch of extra effects on it, though. There's that. Still, I'm all about lots of damage, so... Not to mention I don't want to get attached to it, because we have to give it up for the quest. We... We... Oh, a spinner. Stun gas unlock. Not messing with that. That's TPK material. If you get unlucky. Yeah, it's just a dead end. Alright, yeah, let's actually focus when we fight these guys. Maybe flash slash them? Why not? Well, if they only do one damage, I don't really care. Okay, that works pretty well.
Aha, I thought I saw the purple orb. We must be near the exit. Tulip. <laughs> uh, the crazy enemies in this game. Oh, hey, the, uh... Wow. The one-hit kill actually procced twice. Nice. Alright, well we can use that to fast warp back to cross Steeny when we want to, turn in these quests. Nice work, team. I would say it doesn't make sense to have uh, running liquid water in a place that's frozen solid like this, but it could make sense. Uh, if there's like, you know, a steam vent under it or something, like kind of a hot spring kind of thing. So it's not impossible. Or if the water is just moving really fast, it might not freeze. And we are encountering uh, magma. Oh, look at that. Instant death tile. Haha, <laughs> but I have permafloat, so I guess screwed. We did encounter the magma snails or whatever, which... I mean, could just be purely coincidental. But, uh, if we want to give the map designers credit, we could also say that it's a hint that there's... Uh, you know, like some kind of volcanic activity in the area. Coffee. A lot of fairly terrible crafting materials. If our uh, inventory starts to run low, there's a lot of stuff we can drop and not really worry about it. But right now we still have plenty of space. Huh. How bizarre. Okay. Now that's laziness. Well, that's going to be leading to the exit. We don't want to exit yet. I feel like I'd rather 100% this before... Moving on to what's probably going to be the uh, Glacial Labyrinth, but we can at least uh, we can at least get it on our map, so we can quickly teleport there if we want. The tulips are not very strong, it appears. Can, oh, that goes to Granita. Right, right. It would go to a town and not straight to the labyrinth or, you know, some kind of waypoint. Uh, so we go to Granita and Granita probably connects to the labyrinth. That would make sense. Yeah, we'll 100% this map before moving on to the next. And depending on how long that takes, we could then call it an episode and save exploring the glacier for the next one. Yeah, the one-hit kill procs a lot more against the tulips, which is interesting. Maybe they have a poor luck stat or whatever controls that. We... They don't drop much gold. I feel like the rate at which we're acquiring gold has really fallen off a cliff because we're not encountering the lizard soldiers now. They seem to be the guys here that drop tons of it. Still, we're already at uh, 37,000. That's not too shabby. Because we didn't come in with very much. 
Oh, that's that's a bit of an enemy group, isn't it? Let's uh, hit him with Blazing Fist. I don't feel like messing with it. There we go. Oh, we got teleported again. Hmm. So how do you get to those areas? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat a little bit. There we go. Like so. Okay. Now... Okay, go to this, go this way. There's the magma snails. And look, it's a it's a death zone. Anti-magic over deep water. Man, they love that gimmick. So glad I have permafloat on my party at this point. In the first game, you could get by without it if you didn't... You know, if you just didn't happen to step on the places that would do that to you. Here it seems borderline mandatory. They really like to rely on that gimmick. Fortunately, there are multiple pieces of equipment between the stilts and the um, angel cuffs that can provide float. So I guess it's fairly forgivable when they give you so many ways to deal with it. Still kind of a dick move. Mortal Strike. Eh, just unlock. Cracked Crystal. Okay. Still need to get this. And this. Alright, checking those red borders. We don't yet have the Star of 100% in this, so let's examine it closely and figure out what we're missing. Aha! Down here. I am lazy, so we're just going to teleport there. There we go. Hmm, getting these is going to be mildly annoying. How do I get these? Ah, oh, it's pretty obvious. Go to there. Turn around. A single Majin Fu. Dead. There we go. Skate across. Aha! Go back. Still don't have the star of 100% in this. What are we missing now? Continue the border sweep. Aha! Right here. Oh, conveniently. Now we have the star of 100% in this. Yay! Oh, we're only at 23 minutes. Man, I can't end the episode after just 23 minutes. I thought it would take longer to explore this. Maybe it's because it's only two screens that I didn't remember. it. It's not very big at all. That doesn't have a memorable little sub-dungeon like the desert. Not to mention I just love desert areas in video games, so... If the video game has a cool desert area, I'm gonna remember it. Ooh, this is cool music. <laughs> this looks a lot like the place where I live for a good five months out of the year. Oh, this music kind of sounds watery to me. Rather than... Well, I mean, I guess it kind of sounds icy, too. It sounds kind of like both. It's really good music either way. I really like it. A lot of good tracks. I really wish I could play music like this while actually exploring. 
Like imagine imagine listening to this while exploring that glacier area. Or the Granita Snowfield rather. Would really be even more atmospheric than it is with just the ambient noises, I think. So what are you selling? Matroshka doll, Sakura Bana. Saw gun, but we don't have a gunner. None of that looks too interesting, I don't think. Little witch robe, wizard hat. Spell efficiency plus and spell resistance plus. That sounds pretty darn good. It's quite expensive. The little witch hat is inferior to the wizard hat. So is this just a straight improvement for Seraphi? No, it reduces her accuracy. Not by much, by just one. That seems worth it to improve her spell power. It's expensive though. Let's see what else is available before we spend so much money on that. Thin booze. Anti-Merkind effects. Interesting. We already have these maps. Bacon, sausage. Could get a tube of thought here. I guess they sell these at quite a few places. Glacial banana. Why well, do I have a feeling that this could be a quest item? It was a quest item in the first game. Seven phantom thief tools also kind of sounds like a quest item, doesn't it? It kind of sounds to me like a quest item. Huts. Uh, a non-trivial amount of money, though. I have enough Wyvern Summon tickets for now, and they are so expensive. Right now I'd rather hold on to my money. Let's just try to remember that there's a 7 Phantom Thief tools here at Granita. I'll even write that down. Just in case it becomes a quest item. Okay. 7 Phantom Thief tools at Granita. And it, um... Looks like it has a special use that increases luck, so that would be a great thing to throw on um, Aisha. Although lately Aisha has been doing a great job with her trap detection and disarming, so she's not in desperate need of stats to help with that or anything. It would be really funny if I sold the magic rapier. I don't think that that would uh, like hard lock us out of anything, because I think you could just buy it back. But uh, that would be a real dumb thing to do. Old cloak is garbage. Honestly, anything that's double digits is going to be garbage. So we can free up some inventory space by selling this trash. Pinwheel probably makes a shuriken. It's not going to make anything great when it only sells for that much. Thin skins are just stuff we can buy that costs basically nothing, so... Fried chicken! But you're taking up space so you get sold. Coins exist to be sold. Coffee could be a quest item for all I know. It doesn't say it actually has a use, so... That misspelled phoenix gets me every time. Okay, uh, I think I've made up my mind to go ahead and buy Seraphi that, uh, that wizard hat to increase her spell efficiency or effectiveness or whatever EFF stands for. Buy and equip. Enjoy, Seraphi. And she had what? I think she was wearing like a headband or something. No, she was wearing the bunny ears. That's right. We finally have saved her dignity by giving her something other than the bunny ears. Might hang on to the bunny ears. Hmm. Is it worth lowering defense by two to increase evade by two? I kind of feel like probably yes. I I definitely apologize for your dignity, Aisha. I'm sorry. But uh you're getting the bunny ears. Go menasai. Okay, let's rest. Probably 50G. 
A hundred? Wow, it's getting expensive out this far. Yikes. Still, we make enough money that a hundred is not a big deal, and we're only going to rest Seraphi. Well, you know, we're at half an hour. Kind of a short episode, but I think that stopping here makes for a better stopping point than jumping into... Oh, never mind. We can't go into the Glacial Labyrinth yet. I'm sure we will be able to, but right now we can't. Okay, I'm not going to end the episode yet then. I was making an assumption that we could go to the Glacial Labyrinth from here. Again, no doubt we will be able to, but it hasn't opened up to us yet. So instead of ending the episode here, I'm going to teleport back to Crustini and turn in all these quests. Yeah, imagine if that music was playing while we did this exploration. The atmosphere would be incredible. Weird decision not to allow that. We All right. Quest in time. Okay, Pane, do you really want this zombie powder to help with curse research? I hope that's true. What are you doing here, Dante Sensei? You know, I, I get that you were really angry at Olive for appearing into your memories, deservedly so. But I feel like when she then basically confessed her feelings to you, the way you shot her down was unnecessarily mean and harsh. You could have been a little nicer about it. I'm just saying. Why were you just standing there in uncomfortable silence, Dante? I mean, I know that she's kind of immature and impulsive, but Olive's a nice girl. You didn't have to try to break her heart like that. Who knows, maybe he was actually doing it for a nice reason. If I shoot her down hard enough, she'll lose her feelings for me. And then she won't get any more hurt. <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, Alright, um... Where did we turn in this next one? Oh yeah, we have, we have to actually bring the dragon amulet to Asti. Uh, but we can turn in the magic rapier. ポリアとロッシ先生の依頼について話してたんだけど。ちょっと顔を貸すね。スフォリアなら大丈夫よ。言ってあげて。その件ちょっと貸してほしいよね。Are you going to throw it away? 本当は気づいてたよ。でも認めたくなかったね。今までの頑張ってきたこと、今までの苦労が全部消えちゃいそうな気がして、私が剣士を目指したきっかけは魔法が使えない自分でもここまでできるって私を馬鹿にしたやつらを見返してやることにあったから
Well, good luck. Is it better after you put your power into it? Because it was kind of trash before. Uh, I'm glad we could help. Maybe you could stop blackmailing and extorting poor Rosi-sensei? I, I kind of doubt it. Ooh, goddess rapier. It sounds powerful. Wait a minute. Did you learn anything? Well, whatever, we're quest completionists. Bye. Everybody eavesdrops on everything! You know, you two need to just become an incredibly problemed couple already. You're already 90% of the way there. Although, wait, you have a thing for, uh, uh, Trenet, don't you? Who, who is certainly more age-appropriate for you? I will do so, which means that if it's not good, I will sell it immediately. Is it good? It looks like trash. I mean, spell efficiency plus, spell resistance plus, there's that. Oops. It kinda looks like trash. Well, it does increase accuracy a lot. Because it's only, uh... Because it's plus two instead of minus three. The attack power, though. And defense goes down. And evade goes down. And it's not like... Uh, Candy uses any magic anyway. Now, Grum does, a little bit. I don't know, it doesn't seem great. I guess I'll put it in storage for now, but I'm not too impressed. So yeah, I'll put it away in a trunk and forget all about it, treating it just like Sfolia. <laughs> uh, did I get anything else out of that? I'm blanking out already. Yeah, I got a dried cornet fish. I thought I got something else. Okay, um... Any new quests to take while we're here? There sure are. Oh boy, one's from Giorgio. I guess this is not going to be a short episode, it's going to be a long episode. And high uncursed magic experiment. Anything? Okay, there's tons of them. Holy crap, did we unlock a lot. Okay, you know what? Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, it's going to take a whole episode just to get through the cutscenes for accepting these. So instead of accepting them, we're not going to do that yet. Instead, we're going to go complete the other outstanding quest we have. Which is uh, giving the dragon amulet to Asti. You know, that's going to end tragically, isn't it? If her dragon is going to starve itself to death because it refuses to eat people. That can only end poorly. Now I need to remember where they were. Where were you two? Not there. I remember checking there. Here, I think. 
correct. Sure did. <laughs> the vegetables. Are you trying to raise a vegetarian dragon, Asti? Are you sure? I mean, surely she can subsist on other kinds of meat besides just people meat. Maybe she could go eat a deer or something? Really now? Are you sure? I can see you really like dragons, Asti. Ooh, a dragon lance. Wait a minute, that's the name of a big campaign setting in Dungeons and Dragons. Are you sure you didn't violate copyright by giving that to us, Asti? Also, yes, you can ask for my help again, and yes, we're friends now, because I'm a sucker. <laughs> Bye! Is the Dragon Lance any good? Aside from violating copyright. Uh, it hits twice for 39 to 120. That's not bad. That said, the Morning Star still, still seems to be better. I'm surprised at what a good weapon the Morning Star is. Not better than the Scythe. Okay, it doesn't seem better than anything I've got. And of course, the Backliners can't use it. Okay. Still, thank, thank you, Asti. Appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. It's not like it's a bad weapon. 39 to 120 times 2. Can you actually only attack with it once? Wheeler, even though it supposedly can hit twice. I think at your level, you'd be able to attack twice with weapons, so that's odd. Yeah, ditto candy. Very strange. Well, regardless, uh, since a ton of quests opened up at Crostini, that does make me wonder if any opened up at the other academies. So, we're, uh, we're going to check Bruschetta real quick, just in case. Just in case. Nope. Just wanted to check. All right, let's head back and then save. And then it looks like next episode is going to be a huge quest accepting episode. All right, I hope you're up for a whole bunch of cussing next time. I'll see you then.